Welcome back to my channel. We are going to talk about first kisses. You're something beautiful, electric chemical, feel like. Yes. Who was your first kiss? Do you remember? I can't remember what my first kiss was. It must not have been very good if I can't remember, right? If he was a fabulous kisser, I'd probably know. I'm gonna admit it. My first kiss was playing spin the bottle. Swaggy Lee is in the house. I was probably in fifth or sixth grade and you go to the parties and you're in somebody's game room in their basement of their house and you have the Coke bottle and you spin it and then you try to lean or lean so that it's in front of you and then your girlfriend like switches places with you because she knows you like that boy and she doesn't like that boy but this other boy likes her and oh, it's this whole thing. And then maybe six months later, you graduate from spin the bottle to seven minutes in heaven. You go in the closet with the boy and it's awkward and you talk and there's coats in your face and you're in there and there's like those mothballs, you can smell them in the cupboard and then he might kiss you in the last 30 seconds and then somebody opens the door, the seven minutes in heaven are It wasn't really seven minutes in heaven. It was more like 30 seconds in limbo or maybe even <laughs> not so great. Then as you get older, oh my goodness, there were like makeout parties where you went and you knew that boy was gonna be there and you were just on the couch, oh, it was stupid, it was horrible. Don't you do that, kids. No, 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 no. What did I tell Jojo? No, 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 no. There will be no crying in here. I will no, 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 no crying children. Let's face it, we've all cried over a boy or some of you have cried over a girl, right? Boys are mean, girls are mean. You know, they didn't do that whole show, Mean Girls, for nothing. They can't sit with us! So, it's tough growing up. It's all on social media. Something happens, you go to a party, someone's filming you, they post it up there, of you crying or upset or running away or, oh, whatever. I'm glad I'm grown up. But if I could go back again, I wouldn't go back to school or high school. I would go back to 22. And I would make very different decisions in my life. Ooh, yeah, I would. All right, let's get to it. First kiss. You all know what I'm talking about. Maddie and Gino. Dun, 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 dun. Don't do that silence. You can put it in. At first, we saw the giggles, and I believe Kalani was looking at her. All the girls were like, woo, ooh, Maddie. And it was cute, and it was funny. Boom, and back. Gino isn't from Kathy's. <laughs> Gino is from Miami, Florida. He was trained by a dear friend of mine, John Culbertson, and his partner, Cookie, at Dance Attack. The girls were not always so sweet and nice. Right there. You gotta kiss him. It turned into a mean girl scene, and they were teasing her, taunting her about having to kiss him, and ooh, he was yucky, and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. So then she was really upset she had to do it. It was just one second. <laughs> kiss him on the lips? Ew, I had to. You had to act like you were dating, in love, mad about this boy, and you had to kiss him on stage, and that's called acting and you did it. See, acting, you had to experience it. You grew, you learned more, and now you call yourself an actress. There you go. Let's take a look. This routine is from season four, episode 22. You all know that's my number. Gino and Maddie performing. Uh, this girl has gotta be kissed. She's gotta be kissed. Whoa, the was great. So you saw that travel to right stage with the little saute and then the Sinead Grand Jeté. Maddie's doing it extremely feminine. Gino's doing it extremely masculine. Different arms, different facial expressions, but yet so in sync. They are like 
together. It looks great on stage. You would think they were two professional dancers out there in a Broadway show. The hardest part was when she does the cartwheel on his knees because your knees wobble. You have to get your weight up over your hands for her to do that cartwheel. And, and it looked like something like her legs have to really get up there and kick, but the guy's knees are wobbling or whoever's on the bottom, the partner, your knees have to stay really strong. So once we got through that, I knew it was gonna be a clean ending. Everyone asks me, what's my favorite style of dance to teach or to choreograph? It's musical theater. I love to teach and choreograph musical theater routines. And we didn't get to do a lot of them on the show and that's because you all know, I sound like a broken record, um, record, get it? The network made some kind of deal with a music library. And they're all very contemporary, you know, songs you would listen to in your car on the radio. Not really powerful, punchy, sassy musical theater. So when I get to do one, I love it. Adorable choreography. Uh, Gianna and I worked on this. I mean, she did a fabulous job. It is so good. So cute. And at the end of the song, it just keeps building up. She's got to be kissed. That girl's got to be kissed. Look at her. She's got to be kissed. It just keeps saying it. So I think when they were rehearsing it, I didn't make them do the kiss. I wanted them to do it. I think they did it once in rehearsal, but on stage, fabulous. The kiss is nothing. Quick, boom, that's it. But the facial expressions afterwards. So the guy gets the kiss and away he goes. Runs right off the stage, like most men. <clears throat> yes, but look at Maddie's face. She's acting like, <gasps> So she didn't want kiss, she didn't want kiss, she had her nose up in the air, ba 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 the whole dance, and then the end, he kisses her, and now she's over the moon in love. And that's acting. I've been doing this for 32 years, women, wake up! So every dancer, when you step on that stage, you have to act the character. You have to act out that character, you have to tell that story. That's acting. So the kids that were on Dance Moms, they were trained every minute. They even acted like their mothers were right, which we know that was not true, ever. After the show aired, I'm sure Maddie was embarrassed. I'm sure Gino was embarrassed. Little Mr. Gino ended up saying some very harsh, unkind words about Maddie. It was bad, really bad, and he shouldn't have done it. No. So be careful who you kiss. It was probably the only kiss we saw on camera during Dance Moms. But off camera, there was a little hanky-panky going on with one of the moms and one of the crew members. And then this crew member and that person, and then this crew member and that person, and another person and another person. But turns out my student, Teresa Moyo, who was a director on the show, is now engaged to be married to one of the PAs on the show. Gianna Martello is now engaged to be married to Steve, a sound guy on the show. The list goes on and on. So a lot of people met their significant others, their Valentines, if you will, on Dance Moms. I didn't really. I mean, what was I gonna do? End up with that producer, Satan? No. Satan Stinson. There you go. <laughs> that kiss with Maddie and Gino was all anybody talked about. But now, there's lots of television kisses that we can talk about. How about that? Jill Biden, the first lady? His husband? Is he called the second man? Well, he is the second man for Joe Biden. Woo! Good lesson for all of you to learn. If people are around you, they're going to have a phone. Their phone has a camera, and they could film you at any moment doing anything. So if you don't want your kiss plastered all over the internet, then don't kiss. Girls, boys, you get me? Baskin Robbins, 31 flavors. Where are you going? I don't know, I think I'm gonna go to Baskin Robbins. Don't settle on vanilla. There's chocolate and ripple fudge and pralines and cream and grape ice and rainbow sherbet. There's all kind of flavors out there. Enjoy. That's it. 
We're finished. I'm going to Baskin Robbins. She's zooming, dude. Please subscribe, turn on your post notifications, like this video, comment below, and all that jazz.